Hello everyone and welcome back to Former Therapy. This is The Culture Study. I'm the channel's video producer and your host. You can call me PD and I'm glad to have you guys back. Thank you for the warm reception of my return. Last week we reacted to Dreamcatcher's Odd Eye. Wanted to kind of gauge how people felt about the new format, uh, sort of more editing and a little bit more production quality poured into the material. See if it was worth that and the reception seemed to be fairly positive so we're going to be charging on and today we are going to be watching ha by idol i know this came out earlier last month and people have been clamoring for me to check it out and uh, you know i have been wanting to check it out they unfortunately canceled their u.s tour global tour they were planning a tour uh last year i was definitely gonna go but uh, that was canceled due to COVID reasons, but they're back and I'm very excited. This is, I think, going to be their first full-fledged comeback, like with an EP, uh, since their previous first full-fledged, like I'm using the term full-fledged because um, there's Idol with Oh My God, which was their last EP, um, and then they had Dum Dee Dum, which was a single. So. You know that was both a promotional push but it wasn't the big promotional push right so i expect this one is going to be a little bit more epic now uh before we get into today's video of course if you want to support our videos you can visit us at our patreon if you guys enjoy our content i don't know why this mic is constantly just like it's like slipping this way oh my god do I live on a slant? What's, what's what's going on? But if you guys enjoy our videos and you would like to support us, well, consider visiting our Patreon. This mic is getting closer to my face and it's now touching my lips at this point. But if you wanna see live stage variety show uh, bonus reactions, you can head on over to our Patreon. We have a handful of idol reactions. We just finished watching Idol Workshop, which that's I-D-O-L workshop, but it featured idol as in G idol. So if you want to check that out, visit our Patreon. Uh, we appreciate anyone's support, of course. So let's just check out this video. This is Hua by Idol, and this is your form of therapy. It's like seasons passing. All the flowers are dead. Yeah. 차디 찬 한겨울이 덮친 듯 yeah. 시간은 다 얼어버리고 잔인한 그 바람이 막힌 듯한 어둠은 더 깊어버리고 It's a very idle type of production they have a very particular way they write their title tracks. This is definitely right up there. Oh, I love this section. It's beautiful. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Oh, what? Okay, I thought that was definitely building up into like one final fantastical course. And uh, it has the same effect that Senorita did where they just cut it off right at the good part. But it just builds so much anticipation, right? It, it, it builds up so much excitement of like, oh, that was too short. Just makes you want to either recycle the song and replay it or check out the rest of the EP. So Ha by Idol, that was... Epic. It was a typical idol song in the sense that it was very addictive. I feel like they put a very big emphasis on their vocals, especially like when Zoyun stretches out like those really long notes. It, it gives like a very, um, like an epic feeling, very similar to oh, oh, maybe even the melody. It's very similar to, I feel like their previous long, long ago, uh, their song called Han, which was alone. Um, this one's called Hua, which is like, fire slash spark it's almost like the opposite of their previous song for han where it almost feels like whereas han was like this big empty desolate desert Hua feels like a big empty desolate winter sort of landscape and i like that they combine both uh the use of the cold slash winter mixed with the fire and flower and there's like a lot of symbolism going on between those three things and the way they contrast each other the song itself i really like it i think it returns turns a little bit more to their uh, pop sound. Uh, I felt like Oh My God was extremely experimental. It was very divisive between fans, or at least, uh, you know, from what I saw, you know, some people didn't like it, some people did like it. I personally was on the team of liking it. I like when groups experiment. Um, you know, is it like an addictive earworm type of pop song? No, but I still think it's really good. Like musically, I think it's really good. And I also like this music video because it's pretty straightforward with its symbolism. Um, it's pretty empty and kind of like, like hollow. Like that's sort of like the feeling they're trying to invoke just real quickly based on what I saw. It just, it looks like the story of a woman scorned, a woman who's been hurt and the symbolism of using fire to sort of melt away her problems. Like, I, I don't know if it's necessarily her problems. We'll watch the music video again, but it feels like someone who is lost out in the cold blizzard and the fire ultimately sort of melts all of that away. And uh, she uses the fire to sort of find herself again, right? To sort of uh, take agency of oneself. You know, fire does have a lot of symbolism uh, for like rebirth, reincarnation. You know, the phoenix uh, comes from that as well. And so the fire can also represent the rebirth. Uh, but Hua also means spark. It could be the spark that she needs to sort of you know, kind of melt everything away and be reborn. And I really like the juxtaposition of the song being called Ha, Flame, Fire, Spark. And then the music video itself is largely cold. It's a very cold music video, a lot of blue tones. And then in the final act in the bridge slash abrupt ending, they change it up. They're suddenly wearing like these bright red outfits and they look confident and powerful. And I really like that. So let's watch this music video again. So that opening scene is basically just like the seasons passing, the flowers withering on the tree, the flower on the trees withering. I see. Let's stop right here. So I was a little bit unclear of the whole long hair thing. Um, and the music video also has a very heavy, I feel like Eastern Asian influence to it, uh, especially in the music as well. Uh, but there's the scene of like Soyeon with like this braid. And then in that big bridge, uh, Shua is also holding like a braid as well. I was a bit confused as to what the symbolism for that was. And uh, I see that like the hair is tied to the tree. And I think it, it, she's like a woman who is tied to this tree she it's it's the dead of winter and she's lost in the winter and she's kind of stuck there right um and i also uh think there might be some extra cultural context to it that i might not be aware of uh just because uh that long hairstyle type of thing it is more of like a 
much more older type of stuff. I mean, like a lot of this, I think, uh, is influenced by also like older Eastern Asian um, uh, themes, because even the Hua, like the 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 Chinese in the parentheses, because it's in Korean, but then in parentheses, it's in Chinese and then parentheses in English. And the Chinese is Hancha, which I'm not familiar at all. I was never educated on Hancha. So like, but um, Hancha is like from the olden days. And so uh, a lot of this feels like an influence of like older Asian themes. Uh, stop right here. I love just like how the colors pop in this music video. If you look at these umbrellas, parasols, um, I'm sure there is an official name for these. I've seen them uh, again in a more traditional Asian setting, especially I, I, I think like in Chinese things. Uh, but I love how if you look at like the scene is warm, you know, uh, before this scene, Ugi was wearing a, a, sh a white dress with like uh, red floral prints on it. But then this blue just pops like I love the I love that contrast between the blue and the warmer colors. I mean, that's a very common type of color scheme in any form of art and media. It's used a lot in posters. It's used in filmmaking, movie making, uh, just because they contrast um, and play off each other so well. <laughs> That's also an interesting scene where it looks like Sujin is like constantly using the fans to try and hide her face, but the spotlight is constantly moving over her face as if like she's trying to hide herself, but the spotlight is trying to reveal her. <laughs> So if you listen to the song, if you listen to the main chorus, it's a very upbeat sound and it fits more of like, I feel like upbeat dance sound. And so like you would expect more tropical, warmer vibes from this sound. So that's why the music video is so interesting because it contrasts that completely. It's a completely cold aesthetic, blue background, white outfits. I love it. It's great. And you don't get that satisfaction of like seeing primary red colors like in the foreground of their p like outfits or set pieces until the end. Interesting lyrics. I shall never let your trace leave a mark, shall burn the resentment left undone. Also, I'm noticing that her nails, one hand is white nails, one hand are black nails, and I'm not quite understanding yet what this whole motif with the whole looks like a crow slash raven's nest. Not sure about that yet. <laughs> Ah, I love those lyrics right there. I'm going to set a fire, like, like I'm going to set a bigger fire to claim back the spring that I've lost. What beautiful lyrics. Stop right there. So in that previous chorus dance scene, what I realized what they were doing for the music video is they're basically hitting on 
there there are like three main big symbols in this music video, which is, you know, the cold, uh, the flower, which represents themselves, and then um, the fire. So the cold is like their hurt, and um, the flower is them, and then the fire is the representation of their rebirth. Um, and if you look at the main chorus dances, uh, each chorus represents a different outfit of like the different one of the main themes. So the first chorus, they were in the completely white outfits in that cold sort of wasteland. And then in the second chorus, while they also had that, but they additionally added a second set where they were wearing their floral pattern outfits and uh, dancing against the floral background. And then as we know, when we get into the bridge and the final chorus, they're wearing their fire outfits. So they are also representing those three main themes through the uh, main dance sets as well. Again, this moving searchlight. Oh, that reveal to Shua is so amazing. Uh, it doesn't look like Shua has many lines here, but like every time she's on screen, like it's seems really impactful. Um, this scene that we just saw, I really love that where she had the flower in her mouth, but the flower is recovering. Like, but then you see like the traces of the embers. It's almost like usually you would expect the fire to whittle and burn the flower off. And yet in this case, the fire is helping the flower recover, which they're the flower and they're blooming because of the fire. Like this is such a simple setup too. Like if you think about all the sets that you had through this music video, you know, they're relatively, it's like large tarps and lights, but I, I think it's very beautiful. Sometimes it's about the theme and the direction that really sells the quality of a video. It's not always about like crazy expensive sets. <laughs> How? How is that the end? How could you end it right there? That's ridiculous. That's right when things are about to pop off. Oh my goodness. Oh, what a great tease though. That was Hua by Idol. And that was my reaction and review for their uh, fantastic comeback. Um, I personally really like it. I'm going to give the song a solid 8 out of 10. You know, we'll listen to it more and see if that goes up in ranking. But the music video, man, I just like from a directional standpoint, just from like the story and the themes, I really like it. I'm going to give the music video a solid 10. Uh, but guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of The Culture Study. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a nice little like and give it a nice thumbs up. And of course, let me know, what did you think of Hua by Idol? How does this compare to their previous comebacks? Do you like this sort of theme that they're going with that's a little bit more darker and somber and a little bit more emotional? I personally really like it. Uh, but let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and of course, if you leave a comment, it helps us out with that YouTube search algorithm, so really appreciate it. Uh, but if you enjoy our videos and you want to go ahead and get some bonus content, visit our Patreon. We would really appreciate it, guys. Live stage variety shows, Drama Club. We just finished watching It's Okay to Not Be Okay. And we're going to be checking out Island and Running Girls. So if you want to join us for that, join us on Patreon. But of course, supporting us monetarily is completely optional. There are other ways to support us for free. Like I said, hit the like button, leave a comment, yada, 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 or subscribe. You know, like most of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed. So just subscribing. That's a free way to help me out. Would really appreciate it. And of course, check out the end cards over here and guys thank you very much for watching this video see you guys next time